there's a collective memory we have in the United Reformed Church. Immediately following the end of World War II, the UK had been devastated by, by the bombing. And the Reformed Church in Transcarpathia collected a large sum of money, sent it over to help us rebuild our communities and our churches. I recently traveled to the western part of Ukraine, to that same Transcarpathian region that helped us in 1946. You'll of course know that thousands of ordinary Ukrainians have fled their homes. Many are now either internally displaced persons in Transcarpathia, and many more thousands have fled over the border into Hungary. I travelled via Budapest, and there I touched base with a very good friend to the URC, Balaj Ordor. Reformed churches in both Transcarpathia and in Hungary have responded brilliantly to the growing refugee crisis. I asked Balaj about ways in which the URC could offer practical help, and he showed me how the Hungarian Reformed Church Aid Agency works in partnership with the Reformed Church in Transcarpathia. So my name is Balaj, and I'm, a, I'm the ecumenical officer of the Reformed Church in Hungary. So the region Transcarpathia has its own history. It, at times it belonged to Hungary, then Czech Republic, then Soviet Union, then today it's part of Ukraine. You ha we have a very different ethnic groups and nationalities. But the population is declining, especially since 2014 when the war started, and it was speeded up uh, by the escalation of the war in 2022. But still, the Reformed Church in Transcarpathia would be one of the best organized institutions. Bishop Sandor Zan Fabian spoke fondly of his contacts with our former moderator Nigel Uden and with the historical links to the Southern Synod. So first we started with the Diaconal Coordination Center, we coordinate a lot of social work. Day, over 300 loaves of bread, which they then distribute among the needy. And then we also had a look at one of the over 20 social kitchens which the Reformed Church in Transcarpathia would operate. Well, there is faith, there is love, and there is love, there is Where they cook for almost 300 people to those who are in need. And we visited the, the farm, which provides for the whole ecosystem of the diaconia. Uh, they, they produce their own meat, they produce their own milk, they produce their own vegetables, uh, which then they use. 
for the food distribution. And visiting the elderly home was also important because uh, this is a special need in Transcarpathia, especially in these days of the war, because many elderly people would left behind, left alone, because the younger generation would have left the country. This is what we experienced also in the local congregation in Bereksas, Berakhove, when there was a special day for elderly people, elderly members of the congregation, when they came together to pray, to eat together, they live on their own. And when we asked them how many of them would have families outside of the country, I mean over 80% of them raised their hands. Who would move here? as internally displaced persons, refugees from other parts uh, of Ukraine. So I'm back from my trip to Ukraine and I've had a chance to reflect on all the things that I've seen. Um, and even though Ukraine is out of the news cycle at the moment, other things are happening, the problems themselves have not gone away. And uh, I can say that I was deeply, deeply impressed by the amazing work, often you know, without cameras around, without news reporting. The church does amazing work and we are in a position, uh, we in the United Reformed Church are in a position to be able to support uh, our partner churches. So I would encourage you to, uh, to donate to the appeal that we, we are beginning in the United Reformed Church. You'll, uh, I'll, I'll put a link below or in the description, the video description, but also to pray for our partners and to ask God to bring about a transformation in that region. So thank you that you, uh, all you do in support of Commitment for Life. And um, uh, yep, we'll continue with the work as we go along.